everyone. As you can see behind me, I'm here in my stockpile room, which means stockpile update, finally. I actually did record this video already on New Year's Eve, but I didn't like how it came out. It was a little bit too dark, so I wanted to do it over and make sure that I get the best quality out to you so you can see clearly and everything else. So, let's just get started on what I have in there and so you can kind of see um, how it used to be. If you haven't seen that video, I will link it below so you can check out how my stockpile room was stocked when I first stocked it up and now you, you'll have a comparison. So I'm ready to get back into couponing. It's not going to be anything too crazy or extravagant. It's just going to be to slowly build back up my stockpile um, so that way hopefully the following year, 2014, I won't have to do any more couponing for that year just like I did last year in 2012. So let's get started. So this is the view when you walk into my stockpile room. As you can see here, I keep a step ladder because the shelves go all the way to the ceiling. So let's start here. This in this little bin, I just keep my um, Christmas wrapping uh, organized in there. And then I have a couple things here hanging on the wall, uh, big lighter and so, so forth. So I'm gonna start on the floor. Here you can see I keep in that Huggies box some extra book bags, extra pencil pouches and stuff for the kids' school supplies. There's a box of baby wipes. I always use baby wipes. There's a box of little toys, um, coloring books, extra little things just for my kids or for whenever I need a quick gift for like a birthday party. I can just pick something up and have a little something for whoever we're going to celebrate with. Over there in the corner, let me get my flashlight because it's kind of dark. So, over here in the corner, you can see that there's a bottle of water, well, multiple bottles of water. There in that case, I keep my jewelry items like beads and stuff that I use to make jewelry with. And then those little bins there is what I used to keep my beads in until I transfer them over to the tackle box here. Coming over more uh, back by the door, I have just some toilet paper. That's just what I have for now. So now I'm going to go ahead and come up this first row. And here row. you can see I have just some napkins, some baby items, and then all the rest of that is some dog items. Just some treats and stuff. Coming up another row here, I keep some juices. Um, and that's all that's on that shelf. Those juices are for the kids. So up on this row, I keep some baking items like oil, sugar, flour... I also have a small bag of rice right there and then some Gatorades. I definitely need to restock on Gatorades. Typically my Gatorades are on the shelf right below and it's usually full of Gatorades. So I definitely need to restock on now that. Now it's time for my step ladder. I need to come up a level. Up here I have some cooking wines and some bags of candies. And that's all that's on that level for now. Up on the next shelf I have some more bags of sugar. A bunch of condiment sauces and some extra seasonings. Coming up here, this is the most recently added item, and those are uh, Christmas gifts or birthday gifts hidden away for the kids for next year, and that's where I hide stuff so that they can't see it or find it. Coming across, I have some pasta items and some drink items here along with some jello. Here I have an extra thing of peanut butter. Over there is where I keep extra light bulbs and in that far corner the orange bottles are extra bottles of vitamins that I got overage on. Since I'm over here, this corner over here has some dishwashing items. You can see they're sort of there's some Dawn dish soaps and sponges. Then I have some um, facial tissues and I'm coming to with some cleaning items, laundry items, some more laundry items. Oh, I do have bleach. My husband asked for bleach the other day. <laughs> In this empty corner here is where I used to keep um, our Tide powder laundry detergents, but we used them all up and I'm not repurchasing them because I make my own laundry detergent now, which is even cheaper uh, even with using coupons. So I will no longer be purchasing laundry detergent even with coupons unless it's absolutely free. 
Coming down a level here, I have my bathroom cleaners, disinfectant sprays, um, nice smelly stuff to make the house smell good, some um, air freshening crystals, some candles, and more nice smelling items. Then next to that I have some Ziploc bags in that blue bin. I have all my extra cosmetics like concealers, eyeshadows, everything that I get. Uh, lots and lots of when there's a good sale I keep it in there um, until I'm ready to use it or give it away. In that brown bin is where I keep um, male samples that I get like shampoos etc. In that far corner over there you can't see it that well but that is a can of uh, Hornet spray or wasp spray, the big can, and then the small three ones are mosquito spray or bug repellent. Coming down a level, here I have this extra swivel store that I'm not using yet and some uh, shaving items. There are some extra razors and this we have some travel size items like lotion, shampoos, etc. These are not the ones that I get in the mail. Let me show you this brown bin. I didn't get to show you what was in this brown bin, but these are the type of samples that I keep in here, the kind that are very small or in this plastic um, stuff like this, shampoo and conditioner. So coming back down here, I have deodorants, his and hers. My husband uses head and shoulders, and then all of these are my hair products hair dyes, tons of them I have. Everything from shampoo, conditioner, mousse, hairspray, root lifting serums, everything is in there, deep conditioners, all that is Coming there. down a level, over here is where I have all like the medical related items, medicine, icy hot, um, little emergency kits, uh, things for kids when they get sick, all the rest. Over here I'm coming into some vitamins and then coming Further over, I have dental items, tons of floss, toothpaste. Um, back here are some toothbrushes. I need a little container to put them in. More floss. Here I have some um, health and beauty items and some hand soap. Over here I'm coming into sun, sun, suntan lotion or sunblock and aloe vera. Over here are some lotions, body washes. My husband's axe sprays and body washes, and this is something he got for Christmas. A razor blade uh, with um, that whole little set there. So I have to open it up and put each of the items where they belong. Coming down another level, I have all extra school supply items here. Rulers, folders, everything. Here are some more school supply items. Pens, pencils, markers, tons of glue. Some more school supply items from crayons to all sorts of stuff. They use those little earbuds so whenever I get some really cheap I just buy them and put them there. Coming on over we have some shampoos for the boys since they, they're pretty much bald head. They just have stubbles on their head. They just use those shampoos. And then coming further over I have their bar soaps and some baby shampoos which I use obviously for the younger two babies and some a little body wash for them. Further over I have some more facial products, some moisturizer, whatever, and then all the rest of that is feminine products. I'm so sorry about the lighting. Down here it gets a little dark so hopefully you can see that clearly. So that is my stockpile room. Feel free to leave your comments or questions below. I do plan on having more frequent frequent, sorry, couponing videos up this year as well as my vlogs and hopefully I'm going to, going to be adding some tutorials like more baking, um, hopefully some makeup tutorials if you guys are interested in uh, some crochet, jewelry making tutorials and all the rest. So I really want my channel to be kind of well-rounded and diversified, basically reflecting all the things that I really love to do. And I'm not the type of person to just stick with one thing. I really like to do a wide range of things. So hopefully you guys appreciate that on my channel and you will continue to support me and watch out for my videos. So have a great night. Bye.